So today I'm going to talk to you guys about the relationship between water temperature, density, and salinity. As I stated earlier in one of my examples in regards to the importance of um, well, temperature, water, salinity, and density, and how it affects our hydrosphere and also how it affects our environment, I used an example of a fish. Um, I used the example of a fish actually laying a, a, its eggs in a water with a increased salinity. So what could happen is that usually when a fish, is, fish lay eggs, um, they bury them on the um, on the floor, on the ocean floor, on the water floor, whatever the case may be, whether lake or ocean, um, they're on the floor and they're usually uh, buried. With increased salinity, what could happen is that um, due to the density, increased density of the water, it's going to force uh, objects such as the egg to rise up to the surface. And what could happen to a fish egg is that it goes from a protective state down on the ocean floor or lake floor and it becomes uh, exposed for predators and they just become easy prey so um what we have here is a um, we have one container um, with uh, salt water which is this one and then the other container contains just uh, pure uh, fresh water what we're gonna do is we're going to um, put one egg into one of the salt water containers and the other into the pure fresh water container and um, see how uh, the effects of the salt has on the density and the effect it has on the egg. Now we're going to put one egg into the container with salt, drop it in there. As you can see it just, it as soon as it went down it went right back up very dense water forces it right up and add the other egg into the water that's pure hopefully it doesn't break and it goes straight down straight to the bottom because it's less dense the eggs gonna go right to the bottom So what we're going to do now is we're going to add a little bit of food coloring to the fresh water. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add the fresh water to our salt water solution to see how the density in the water with the higher salinity is uh, to see the effect that it's going to have on the fresh water with, which has less density. So we're going to use a spoon so to soften the entry of the fresh water. And as you can see, the salt water forces our less dense water straight up. Now if we place our egg in here, what's going to happen is that the lower den the, the higher density water, which is in the bottom, is going to force the egg up, 
but it's not going to force it all the way up because the water up top, the blue water, is less dense. So it's going to sink below that. So let's see if that's what it's supposed to do. Drop it in here. to it Let's add a little more so as you can see the egg did not completely rise to the surface of the water but it did not completely sink to the area of higher density with higher salinity. So what could happen um, in regards to our fish egg is that in larger numbers, um, possibly a whole species of fish could become extinct. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed my lab.